Thank you for the opportunity to share about our research on plastic pollution on Florida's space coast, uh, so-called because it is near NASA's Kennedy Space Center. I'm grateful to our colleagues at Arash USA and Williams Baptist University for their assistance in all aspects of this project. Nurdles are the basic element in most plastic production. They are created from hydrocarbons and shipped via boat, train, or truck to factories where they are processed and made into plastic items we use on a daily basis. At each point, there's the possibility of pellet loss. A holistic approach is therefore necessary to combat neural loss, ranging from reducing manufacture, loss in transport, loss in factories, and so on. A whole supply chain approach is necessary and awareness at all levels. We wanted to initially understand at a very simple level, are there nurdles washing up on Florida's space coast? Pilot studies indicated that this was so. And then subsequent questions became, how does nurdle abundance change in space and time? The basic methodology for a nurdle hunt is quite simple. Search the high tide strand line or storm strand line on a sandy beach for a set period of time with a given number of individuals. In this study, we held the amount of time search constant to 15 minutes, but did not predetermine the number of individuals that would complete the survey. This allowed for the method to be used educationally and as a citizen science approach through local students, church groups, collaborations such as with Williams Baptist University as well. Numbers of observers range from one to nine, with the average being two to three participants. So we mainly also compared two different study areas. Uh, you see NASA there in the middle, and we were looking especially at north and south of NASA, which has very different development uh, schemes. The one north being a national seashore, and the one south a highly developed um, tourist area. The mean number of nurdles found among all nurdle hunts was uh, 20. 0.2 plus or minus 3.4. Uh, we did 136 nurdle hunts, which, and the numbers range from zero to 330 per 15 minutes. Spatially, the highest abundance of nurdles was found at several sites on one date in January 2020 and two consecutive dates in September 2019. Both of these high nurdle abundance occurrences were preceded by storm events. Nurdle abundance was consistently lower in the months of May and June than at other times. A comparison of all pre-hurricane season surveys, all post-hurricane season surveys and the September 2019 storm sampling showed significant differences in mean neural abundance. No clear neural abundance spatial patterns were found at our site. We validated our initial questions as to whether or not there were nurdles in our study sites, but did not identify any clear sinks of nurdles. Florida as a whole appears to have relatively low neural abundance relative to the Gulf of Mexico outside of Florida, particularly Texas. Florida also appears to have low neural abundance compared to neural sinks in other areas of the world, such as at the mouth of major rivers in industrialized European countries. Identification of plastic manufacturers and other neural supply chain members along the Atlantic coast is an important area of future research. We had hypothesized based on the literature and reasoning that our sites were more likely to have higher neural abundance after hurricane season than just prior. Our data confirmed this and showed that there is short-term temporal variability within a season. The educational component of our work took two primary forms, training volunteers who participated in the neural hunts and opportunistic encounters with beachgoers who asked questions about the work. The level and depth of education for citizen science participants depended upon their background and stated desires for participation. At one level, elementary and middle school students learn basic characteristics of, citizen, of scientific research, such as the value of replication, randomization, and representation in designing surveys. At the other end of the spectrum, which includes three co-presenters, university students spend significant time reading about plastic pollution, conducting neural hunts, and participating in their first experience of scientific pu publishing. These citizen science approaches then have multiple values and can be used with a wide variety of participants with varying levels of experience and desires for education. The impacts of plastic pollution on Florida's space coast remain unknown and further study is required to better understand how plastic interferes with local species, habitats, and stakeholders. Sandy beaches are clearly receiving microplastic input and based upon our research, it is likely that the results, this results in deleterious consequences. 
beaches such as those in our study area <clears throat> that need concerted marine need concerted marine conservation efforts. They are greatly affected by overharvest, land-based runoff, and climate change. While plastic pollution has a relatively smaller problem, it is increasing issue and in interacts with those other threats to magnify the overall risk to the environment. Additionally, plastic pollution remains a highly visible threat that is easily recognized by the general public. The sight of plastic on a beach evokes a visceral re reaction within stakeholders, providing an opening to engage them in a substantial way that could change hearts and minds to be more favorable to other conservation measures. Citizen science nerdle hunts thus are an important tool for science, education, and motivation towards pro-conservation behaviors. We are grateful to the many uh, volunteers and friends that have helped us in this, and uh, also thankful for uh, permission to work in uh, Canaveral National Seashore. I'm grateful to the late Jasper Hamlet of FIDRA and uh, Jace Tunnel of Nurdle Patrol for sharing data with us. If you'd like more information on our organization and our other marine conservation work, including our plastic program, uh, please come visit us at this website. Thank you for listening and uh, looking forward to discussions together.